Time now for Sunday brunch and joining us this morning is Chef Steve Rogers from Outlaw Barbecue Smokehouse. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am so excited that you are here. This brisket smells so good. Thank you. It's been out for about uh, 13 hours in our smoker and uh, we're going to be featuring brisket this morning for the Taste of Pikesville. So amazing. We're going to talk about Taste of Pikesville in just a moment, but first talk about your restaurant. Well, we have a uh, barbecue smokehouse in Hampstead up in Carroll County. Even though we're going to the Pikesville event, we are up in Carroll, and it's they're they're a great uh, great chamber that you know welcomes uh, restaurants from the outside. So Fantastic. we're up there, and uh, you know. obviously this is a huge slab of brisket right here. Yep. You smoke it, but you guys specialize in all kinds of different things. You've got um, you do brisket burger. Yep. So today we're going to do a uh, what we call a Castle Cowboy Burger, wow. named after one of our customers, Matt Castle. Oh, nice. Yep, he came to us and wanted us to make a burger, so we named it after him. Okay, so. you start making that burger right now, and okay. while you're doing that, if you could talk about the Taste of Pikesville. It's a little hard. you got to work and talk I don't know, at the same time. No, we're good at multitasker. So, uh, Taste of Pikesville is an incredible event. We did it last year for the first time. We absolutely loved it. Um, they're going to have close to about 50 vendors there. Expect 400 to 500 attendees. It's on April 9th. Um, and it's a fundraiser. It is a fundraiser. It's for the Baltimore Hunger, Hunger Project, and uh, it's a, just a great event. We had a we had a blast doing it last year. That's fantastic. Tickets are still available. We have some information we can put up on the screen right now about that event, and there's a phone number that you can call for that. But we do know that it is going to be on April 9th from 5:30 to 8 o'clock, right? More yep. than 50 restaurants. Yep. yep. And okay. it was packed last year. It was Man. really good. I bet. Fantastic. All right, go ahead and start building your burger. So what we got today? Is Taylor, we, you can come on in here while he's building. We've got our brisket, and like I said, we've gone. About 14 hours on this brisket last oh, night. Man. That just low and it slow. Looks so good. It so, smells so good. For everybody, we're just going to do our brisket sandwich. All right. And we're going to cut a little bit extra brisket for our burger. All right. Sounds good. So, and unfortunately, we only have about probably 40 more seconds. I don't so know. We're going to build that thing. We're good. So we're going to put two pieces of brisket nice. in here. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And so you already have a burger in there, right? Yep. Okay. And that's going right now. Oh, yeah. We're going to take a little bit of our brisket. Put it on here. Nice. For our brisket sandwich. Oh, that looks we'll so go ahead good. And plate that. <laughs> and while this is going uh -huh. right here, we're going to go ahead and grab smoked bacon. We oh. do, we pre smoke all our bacon. Oh, so we're just nice. going to have put that down. Okay. And we want to put a little bit of water in here. Whoa. To kind of warm that bacon up. We're going to take our two pieces of brisket. Man. We're going to put it on top. All right. We're going to come in with your two cheese pieces is there. of cheese. And while you're doing that, we just want to mention, too, you have got a brisket burrito in front there. Yep, and then you have a tomato burrito. bisque soup, yep, too. So is that right? We love doing it's soup so for the taste. Man, it goes over really so well. Incredible. So that's our brisket burrito. Wow. We feature the point meat of our brisket, which ends up in our, in our burrito. And we got the gorgeous flat meat in our sandwich. Oh, great. All right. Outlaw Barbecue in Hampstead. You're going to be participating in the Taste of Pikesville.